morning guys. I'm so sorry I can't be here today, but I am going to introduce a little lesson for you and I hope you have a really great time. I'm gonna start off by reading a story. It's called, There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed Some Leaves. There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed Some Leaves by Lucio Calandro, illustrated by Jared Lee. There was an old lady who swallowed some leaves. I don't know why she swallowed those leaves. Perhaps she'll sneeze. There was an old lady who swallowed a shirt. It didn't hurt to swallow that shirt. She swallowed the shirt to fill it with leaves. I don't know why she swallowed the leaves. Perhaps she'll sneeze. There was an old lady who swallowed a pumpkin. She wasn't a bumpkin to swallow that pumpkin. She swallowed the pumpkin to wear the shirt. She swallowed the shirt to fill it with leaves. I don't know why she swallowed the leaves. Perhaps she'll sneeze. There was an old lady who swallowed a pole. She was on a roll when she swallowed that pole. She swallowed the pole to prop up the pumpkin. She swallowed the pumpkin to wear the shirt. She swallowed the shirt to fill it with leaves. I don't know why she swallowed the leaves. Perhaps she'll sneeze. There was an old lady who swallowed some pants. She started to dance when she swallowed the pants. She swallowed the pants to cover the pole. She swallowed the pole to prop up the pumpkin. She swallowed the pumpkin to wear the shirt. She swallowed the shirt to fill it with leaves. I don't know why she swallowed the leaves. Perhaps she'll sneeze. There was an old lady who swallowed a rope. She didn't mope when she swallowed the rope. She swallowed the rope to tie up the pants. She swallowed the pants to cover the pole. She swallowed the pole to prop up the pumpkin. She swallowed the pumpkin to wear the shirt. She swallowed the shirt to fill it with leaves. I don't know why she swallowed the leaves. Perhaps she'll sneeze. There was an old lady who swallowed some hay. She didn't say why she swallowed that hay but she did it with ease. And then she started to sneeze. Ah, ah, achoo! Happy fall. All right, so boys and girls, for your project today, you're going to make your own scarecrow. Now, what would I use if, for a head if I was going to make a scarecrow? A pumpkin. A pumpkin. So the first thing I need to do is draw a pumpkin. And to draw my pumpkin, I make kind of funny oval-y shapes. So I start with one in the middle. And then I put one on each side until it looks like a pumpkin. And then I put some in the back because a pumpkin's around. Now, do I need a stem for my pumpkin? Yeah. Yes, so I'm gonna make a little stick stem in here. So there's my pumpkin. What do I need next for my scarecrow? A shirt. So I'm gonna draw a shape for my shirt. And I like to make collars like this. And it looks like two triangles that overlap in the middle, right? So then I'm gonna make some shoulders. I'm gonna make the body of my pumpkin. What did I leave space for right here? Yes. The sleeves. What shape do I use for my sleeves? Rectangles. 
Show me with your fingers how many rectangles for each arm. Perfect, two rectangles for each arm. So I'm gonna come down here and there's one, two, and then the other one's gonna be right here. All right, what else do I need for my scarecrow? Pants. Pants. So I'm gonna draw my pants so that they come way down here, over, up, down, over, and then back up. Now, would my scarecrow wear shoes? Yes. Yes. Okay, it could. Does it have to? No. No, so does that give you the choice of shoes or no shoes? Yes. Yeah. So I'll do one where there's a shoe. And we'll make him have boots with a little heel on it. And this one's not going to have um, shoes. So it's just going to have straw sticking out. Could I make straw sticking out of this one? Yeah. Alright. What about hands? Hmm. You have your hand up. Should I do hands? Yeah. Okay. On both of them or should I do it like the bottom where I did one with and one without? Okay, I'll do both of them. So I might do what looks like a glove. So I'm gonna come one, two, three, four, five. And maybe it's like this. And maybe there's some rope that's tied the glove around there. And on this side, I'm just gonna make some straw sticking out. Now, what are some decorations that are details that I could add to my scarecrow? I could add buttons on my shirt. So I'm gonna draw some buttons on my shirt. They're going down the middle. What else could I add? I could add some eyes. So maybe he's gonna look kinda like a jack-o-lantern. Give him some triangle eyes. A nose, I could add a triangle for the nose. Don't forget a mouth. <gasps> it's not okay to make a girl too. Sure, it could totally be a girl. So we could think about how to give her some hair. You can get some girl hair and also, and also, can you also add a mouth? Yes, I will add a mouth. Now, boys and girls, if it's called a Scarecrow, what kind of mouth should I give it? A scary mouth. So I'm going to add lots of zigzags so that he looks like, or she looks like she has sharp teeth. Does that look good? Yeah. All right. So let me see how I can make it a girl scarecrow. Maybe I can make some girl hair. So maybe, let me see, how would I attach my hair? Maybe I'm going to add a hat. And guys, it's okay that I'm drawing over my black crayon because I'll just make my hat black. Oh, I'm going to make girl hair. Hold on. So then... There's my girl hair. You know what? I've already made the pants, so it's kind of hard for me to change it to a skirt. But yours could be a skirt, okay? You could put a little head, uh, uh, a bow. I could put a bow. Maybe I'll make it, hmm. You know what? There's something else I could use to make it look like a girl. My picture's kind of plain right now because I've only used one crayon. Color. I could use colors. I could use colors to make it a girl pumpkin. So some other details that I could do on my scarecrow. Could I add details to the pants? Yes. Say that again? Yes. I can't do that because I already have the pants, but for yours, you can do a dress. You can put some leaves. I could put some leaves. You know what? I'm going to put some pockets. And maybe 
I have some leaves sticking out of my pockets. How does that work? Good. Now, does my scarecrow stand up by itself? No. No, what does it need behind it? A stick. A stick. You know what? I'm going to make it run up the back. And then you'll see the pole up there. And maybe it's tied to the pole like this. And then there's my ground. Don't forget your ground line, guys. Now, could I have like a garden behind him? Yeah. Or her? Maybe, maybe I have some corn. It's a corn field. And I'm just making some shapes of what corn might look like. Um, could I do maybe some clouds in the sky? Yes. It looks like fire. And I'm going to make it look like there's a moon behind her. So boys and girls. That is my scarecrow. Now I can use my colors and I can't wait to see what yours look like.